Welcome, welcome to Thoughts Roundup. Nice to be here. Nice for you to be here. You know, I've been thinking about people who who give of themselves. People sometimes just surprise you. There are so many people that we, or maybe they should say it like this, there's so much, we see so much selfishness here and there and so forth. But when you find somebody that's giving, someone that's totally unselfish, it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel good about humanity. It makes you feel good about the world that we live in. Everyone has difficulties and problems. And it's it, no one hardly has any actual time to just give away. But there are some folks that will take of things from themselves to give to someone else. You just never know where you're going to find these people that are willing to sacrifice. Tilly Dover, a lot of folks knew her. She was a missionary. Tilly Dover did so much for so many people. You just can't believe how unselfish she was. Spent her life being a missionary. And I, I don't have the time really to just go in and tell you what all happened to her. But she finally got old and got to the place she couldn't go and do anymore. And uh, she said to them before she died, she said, I want to give my body to science. And you know what they do. I, I understand that they take your bones and put them here, maybe a, in a desert place in the sun to see how long it takes this to happen or that to happen, skin and, and on and on. She had given of herself in every way, and now all of a sudden here she's giving everything else that she had. My son pastors a church in South Carolina, and uh, he has a man that uh, was one to God in this church here in Simpsonville. Kermit is his name. He's a very talented elderly man. He's so excited about the truth. He's so excited about when the Lord's presence comes. And sometimes he just cries and raises his hands and prays the Lord. But he'll stay up and give his time. And really and truly, it's like uh, you don't think of him as having the energy and the strength. But somewhere along, he finds enough to be a blessing to someone else. I, I was reading the other day about a, a man many, many, many years ago who was down, working down in a mine and there was a blind man down there digging coal. I was not aware that, that a blind person could do something like that. But I, I know that they're innovative. They do have, they can do a lot more than we think. And he was down there digging. And he wanted to come up because of his daughter being rushed to the hospital. And he wanted to come up 
So a man was about to bring him, have him sent up. All you had to do was hook the line to the thing that brings them up and jerk the line and the people up at the top of the mine, they start pulling them up. And so here this man was down there and he, he heard the, the water rushing in and he knew that by the sound of it that the, the water was coming through a channel that had been dug and he knew that, that uh, whoever was there was about to be, about to be uh, drowned. And so he put this man, he had this man in the thing to bring him up and he jerked the line and said, tell him the water is rushing in. And so he didn't, of course, make it. And he could have very easily got himself fixed to come up and jerk the line and he would have been saved. You, you, you just don't never, you know, here's the thing. It's always strange. It might be an older person. It might be a younger person. It might be a person that doesn't have much themselves. But you don't know when the line is going to be jerked or who's jerking it. I want to be a giver and not a taker. God bless you.